This is Cameron Chai from AXT and today we're speaking to Daniel Parvaz from Cellfrag and he's going to tell us about their high voltage pulse power fragmentation system. Hi Cameron. So this is the Cellfrag rock breaker. The machine is, uh, this is the lab version 2.1 and it is divided into three different parts. Behind the uh, silver panel here we have a Marx generator which steps the voltage from the standard mains 240 volts up to anywhere between 90,000 to 200,000 volts. The electrical and pneumatic systems are housed behind the blue panels, and the front silver panel is the process chamber itself. The entire system, despite working with extreme high voltages, is grounded in several places within the actual generator housing. All the outside structure is metal and grounded, and is essentially one giant Faraday cage, so everything is extremely safe. Looking inside the process chamber, the doors open as so, and the charge is generated, uh, the charge builds up the generator and is discharged through this electrode here. We have a custom grounding hammer which is always in contact with the electrode, so is it, which is another safety measure. When we turn the machine on, we have a discharge generated comes from the electrode to impact the counter electrode which sits at the bottom of this process vessel. So when it is time to process, we fit our process vessel inside the machine, put our sample on top, fill with water to the line, uh, and then close the doors. The machine itself is extremely simple to operate and is designed for everyone from undergraduates to professor level. A simple touch screen allows you to control the electrode gap, which we can change very easily. The number of pulses, the frequency of those pulses, and the voltage that we work with. All we have to do then is press start processing. When we press go, we have a little pictogram here which will show the process vessel lifting up, bringing the electrode into the, uh, towards the counter electrode to the gap that you have set. The doors will lock, keeping everything very safe and the doors cannot be opened. And then you, whatever you place inside will be broken. So Daniel, what sort of materials can be processed in the Cellfrag lab? Just about everything that comprises uh, multiple different components. So um, the machine actually works by exploiting the uh, different electrical potentials between materials. So for example, copper on a circuit board and the actual circuit board itself, or say, uh, say a phone screen and the actual phone. Um, what cannot be processed are things like pure metals because there is no contact surface or joint for the electrical discharge to exploit and other things which have a perfect metal casing because uh, these uh, physically react in the same way as a pure metal would. The discharge hits it and is immediately conducted away with little breakage happening. But uh, other than that, you can put about just about anything in. Uh, other than, uh, pr things that don't work also are pressurized containers. These tend to explode inside the vessel. And also batteries, lithium batteries, which um, will also be overcharged and break, as you would expect when you put a 200,000 200, volts into a battery, into a lithium battery. And why does the sample need to be uh, covered with water when you process it? The self frag machine um, generates the discharge at extremely fast pulse rise times, under 500 nanoseconds. So um, at this extremely fast rise time, uh, water actually acts as an insulator, much in the same way that when you uh, Say, for example, if you put your head on a desk and somebody knocks on the desk, the solid is actually a much better conductor of sound than a liquid is, say, water. This is why everything sounds so muffled in the water. Um, at this very fast rise time, the water acts as an insulator and the, and the discharge is attracted to the solid, which is relatively more conducting. The discharge hits the solid and works through it along the path of least resistance, which is these contact, contacts between different materials, working its way to the counter electrode. And does it have benefits in terms of processing, like re reduced dust emissions and things like that? Uh, precisely, Cameron. The uh, self process is entirely wet. It's all underwater. 
Um, so we have zero dust generation, so you don't need extract, uh, you don't need extra extraction, such as you would with a normal jaw crusher. Uh, in addition, the cell frag process, even if um, you can then recover the finest particles and put them through a filter press, and the cell frag process has been shown to produce fewer fines than normal crushing. And what's the, what's the benefit of using uh, using this technology compared to conventional crushing and grinding technologies? So conventional crushing, say with uh, a jaw crusher, which involves steel plates uh, rubbing off, rubbing against one another, uh, that can introduce contamination into a sample because of the physical contact. Cell frag is actually a uh, non-contact, uh, non-contact breakage. So we have the electrode and the counter electrode, and we have the discharge across a water gap into the material. So there's no uh, abrasion of the uh, of steel plates onto your sample. Say so it works very well for high purity processes, geological processes. Um, also, the because uh, cell frag works by exploiting the differences between, say, a mineral and a matrix. Uh, we can actually the discharge travels around the grain boundaries of the mineral and breaks it away from the matrix itself. So the process, the process is actually selective where the cell comes from um, and fragmentation. So we so the uh, there isn't the randomness that's associated with normal breakage with a jaw crusher, I'm saying. And for fragmenting a concrete sample, how long is this, that would that sample take to run through the system? So uh, to process a concrete, assuming you want to take the uh, recover the aggregates inside as large as possible, we would generally run that for two or three seconds um, at 150, uh, say around 10 pulses, which is two seconds at 150 kV, and that will uh, reduce a fist-sized piece of concrete, will completely break apart the, uh, the cement and liberate most of the aggregates. The machine is extremely fast, uh, working up to five pulses per second, that's five hertz. Uh, and we've shown to take a piece of a fist-sized piece of granite down to 90% material passing a two millimeter screen in about 10 to 12 seconds, which is 50 to 60 pulses. So the machine is extremely fast. One of the other unique features of the, of the, of the self reg is the way you change the voltage. How does that, how does that actually work? So the voltage is uh, the voltage that the generator produces is actually controlled by nitrogen. So we have a nitrogen tank there. The pressure inside the generator is increased and decreased to uh, to control this basically. So the technology is uh, it's, the system is based on a Marx generator, which has actually been around since the 1920s and is fairly commonly known. Just self frag has taken that old design, um, made it extremely safe to use. That means there's no moving parts and it's extremely fast to, to, to adjust? Uh, exactly. Um, like you said, we just, have the, we just have the panel here. We change the voltage, press enter, and then when you press start processing, the machine automatically adjusts the, uh, adjusts the pressure inside the generator. So this uh, nitrogen tank is always left on and open, and then the machine draws as much nitrogen as it needs to achieve the required voltage. All right, Daniel, thanks very much for telling us about the Self-Rag Lab. No problem, Cameron. Thank you.